everyone, it's Greg. I'm back again today to show you how to hollow two different models, one very simple and one more complex. Uh, but even the more complex one, I'm just going to show you a technique. The actual hollowing is very simple to do anyway. Uh, and here's the people that got me started. So uh, please like, watch their videos, subscribe to their channels. Start off with a very simple chest. Now this model, you can't get any easier than this. Uh, it's got a nice big flat bottom, which you'll never see. So I have no problem punching holes in it and I'll explain to you why. So you go to the hollow button. Okay, I like to use uh, 2.1 as my wall thickness. Sometimes I'll go down to 1.8, but if, I feel like if you go thinner, you risk making the model very fragile. So then you just hit start. You'll see that there's a bar at the bottom right, which is the program figuring out how to hollow the model. And then the model breaks down layer by layer and it shows you how it's hollowed. Once that's done, you just go to the button right next to hollow, which is add a hole. Because once you've hollowed it, if you don't add holes, it'll trap a ton of resin in there. And eventually that resin will break and crack your model. So you need to, and here I'm just showing you layer by layer so you can see where you want to make holes. So you need to add a hole. So you go to the button to the right of it, you click it, you want to add a hole. Now, due to physics, which I'm not going to get into, you want to add a second hole. You need a place, as you're getting IPA in when you're washing this out, you want to get air out of there so the IPA can rush in. And when you pick up this piece up and shake it over your IPA bath to clean it out, when you shake it, you need air to go in to force the IPA and the resin out. And uh, when I cure, when I go to clean this, I would uh, let it, f turn it upside down, let it fill up with IPA shake it and then turn it over and shake it and let it drain five or six times to make sure you really get all the resin out of the inside so you, you click the hole uh and now you can see we've made a hole uh, right through the model you, the depth i always keep around two to three millimeters that should be enough to get through any wall it, sometimes as you'll see in the more complex model i have to extend the depth of the hole uh, you want to make sure if you make a bigger hole you're not punching through another area of the model though so, as I said before, I need to make another hole because it is important that air can get in. Now, if you wanted to keep the hole, let's say, I don't care how the bottom of this model looks, but you might. So you click keep the hole when you do this, and then add a hole, and you'll see that when you make the hole, it also keeps the piece that was dug out. That way you can glue that back in afterwards if you want, and then do a little gap filling and sanding if you want to make your model look perfect even on the parts you'll never see or on occasion you might have to hollow a model in a spot where uh, you might have to put a hole where people could see it so keeping the hole uh, is not that bad a thing on models like this I would never keep it because like I said I don't care what the bottom of this model looks like so now you're done with this already air will go in uh, fluids will come out one hole eh. And that's about it for this one. So now let's go on to a, the more complex model. And that's going to be the Umber Hulk body, that Umber Hulk from Artisan Guild. And it's more complex because you'll see when we go to hollow this out, the arms are going to hollow and the legs are going to hollow. But it's not all one huge cavity that's attached. And as you'll see, I can't really do anything about the arms in this one, which which I'll show you. But I can actually make the legs, uh, the hollow part of the legs, attached to the hollow part of the body by drilling extra holes inside the model. So this is the advanced technique of hollowing, is drawing, is making holes inside your model to connect different cavities so you can actually drain the whole model. So here we go. I'm going to hit the start. You're going to see what's going to happen. Uh, I always go inner, not outer. So, okay, hit start. And you'll see the, the bar at the bottom right loading up again. And then you'll see the model deconstruct layer by layer. And let's look at this. So you, you can see the cap, the main body cavity. You can see the arms are going to have a tiny little bit of hollow space. And then you'll see that the legs also are getting hollowed out when it comes to these leg portions right now. And But you'll also, if you notice when you're going, even though it's going quickly, the leg hollow part is not attached to the body hollow part. Uh, and that's what we're going to fix so we can drain more of the model. The arm portion that's joining is too thin. I can't dig a hole through that through that bicep and tricep area and, the, and then curve it through the forearm and get to the, get to the actual forearm hollow. So that's going to be a little bit of trapped resin in those spots, but it's not going to be very much. And it, with that little bit, it should probably cure uh, maybe even right through the model if you have a strong enough UV source. But looking at the legs, you can see that the cavities in the legs, as I mouse up and down the layers 
The cavities in the legs are not going to attach to the main cavity. There is material blocking it, okay? And resin that's trapped in those legs, it will be like the forms. It's just trapped in there. So even though I don't think it's that big a deal, any resin we can get out, we want to get it out, right? The other good thing about a multi-part model like this is you have a huge area that no one's ever going to see. So I can put my holes there instead of putting them on the bottom. I have nice huge air, so I'm going to make a really big hole. And this cavity, I could really care less how this looks. So I'm going to put my hole right into the cavity. And again, three is more than enough here. Sometimes you might get a message saying it failed to dig or it wasn't hollow enough. And then you just increase your depth of your hole uh, till it, it can get through the material. So if you're off the model, you see you can't see the green box. When you're on the model, you can see it. And it shows you the size of the hole. Uh, so now I've dug through. And look, you can see clearly into the model. That's perfect. But I need my air hole. And the good thing is, like I said, we have a large area on this model that you're not going to see. So I can dig my air hole right next to my other hole. Okay. And that way, again, you need to get air in when you're getting liquid out. Uh, again, I don't want to get into the physics. If you're really interested, Google it. But you need a second hole. Put it that way. So let me put that second hole. Again, since you're not going to see it, I can put it anywhere in this kind of neck head cavity. Uh, right underneath the other, other hole is perfect. So let me dig a hole there. I'm going to dig it a little smaller because this is just to let some air in. And I'm not going to keep the hole because I don't need to plug this up. So let me check that hole out. Yep, it goes right through the cavity. Uh, this is perfect. It's going to drain quite nicely. But now let's get back to the more complex problem. Uh, here's the advanced technique. Let's go into the model and inside the model Again, we can't get to these arms that I'm highlighting now. It's just, it's too difficult. The, the area between is just way too thin. But we can take care of that problem, as I mentioned, with the legs. So let's deconstruct the model a little bit and see where that leg material is. It looks like it's right about there. So if I could punch through that material, I can join the leg cavity, which I'm showing you where that cavity is. So let me try my hole and see if when I dig it, it gets me through to the leg cavity. So obviously I'm going to go to that middle section here, it looks like the thinnest part, and it's right in the middle, which is great. And here I'm going to go with a circle because it seems to fit this shape a lot better. I'm going to make it a little smaller, I want to make sure I don't uh, hurt the integrity of my model. And there it didn't work because there's too much material on the side, it can't dig a clean hole, so I'm going to increase the hole depth until it punches, oh, punch through right there. So now if you, as I move in, you can see now we've got a hole into the other cavity. Okay, so we're going to do that on the other leg also, and that, that gives a chance. Now, look, that hole is pretty small, that interior hole. It is possible that the IPA, because I can't put an air hole in there as well, might have a little bit getting in and really draining out, but it'll do something for sure, and something is definitely better than nothing in this case. So let's go here. We see the material. Let's reconstruct it a little bit so I can see where to dig the hole. Again, this is a pretty convenient-looking spot. It kind of lends itself to, oh, I should put my hole here. So it failed again. I'm going to increase my depth. There's more material to punch through here, I guess. And boom, we've got the hole. So now at least my leg cavities are connected to the main body cavity. We're going to, we've, uh, we're going to be able to get rid of some more of that resin. Our IPA hopefully is going to flow throughout that whole model now. So basically, we're done now. That's how to hollow a simple model and a much more complex technique to hollow out a model that might have multiple cavities. So I hope this uh, sheds some light on the subject for people. For, for newbies, you learned how to do it the easy way. For people who've hollowed before, and maybe not, never hollowed inside your model, hopefully you've learned a new technique to allow you to do some better hollowing. Also, I should mention one glitch. Sometimes when you dig a hole in Chidu right now, it just won't put the hole no matter what you do. When that happens, just save your project, close Chidu down, open the project up again, and then usually you can dig that hole. Uh, that, that, that's happened to me several times when I'm trying to dig holes. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, please subscribe, and happy 3D printing.